Hi, the first thing we're going to work on today is how to annotate and make notes within iBooks. First thing we want to do is find iBooks within our iPad and open it up. Now if I take a look at my library, what I have here is I have several books already loaded onto my iTunes library. So what we're going to look at today is The Awakening. As I open up The Awakening, what I want to do is I want to maybe annotate or make notes of specific text in order to refer back to it later. In order to do that, I'll select a big group of text by holding my finger over one word of a paragraph that I wish to do. From there, I can drag this feature over the selected text that I want to use, and from here it will give me several different options. I can copy the text, I can define specific words, I can highlight the text, I can leave a note for myself, I can also share a specific group of text, but today we're going to focus on the highlight and note feature. In order to highlight what I want to do, again, once I've selected that group of text, I will click on the word highlight. Now the nice part about the highlight feature is if you look right here, it gives you the option of selecting different colors for your highlighter. So again, instead of having several different highlighters with you, you can use several different colors to annotate four different things, such as themes, characterization, author's intent. Now as you do that, you can select through whichever one you want, and once you're done, just click on the middle of the screen. That will go away and you have your highlighted text. However, sometimes you maybe want to leave notes for yourself or annotate as you would in the margins for a regular book. Although it doesn't, will not annotate in the margins, once I select a group of text, just like I did before, I will get the options to copy, define, highlight, note, search, and share. If I leave a note, what will happen is I will get what appears to be a sticky note. And from here, I'll just leave a note for myself. And you're going to notice that the, it still highlights the text, but what it also does, it leaves a little sticky note kind of on the side to make reference to. Now what I want to do if I want to view that note is I will just put my finger over that and then the sticky note will essentially come up and tell me whatever it is I've written on that text. Now with the iBooks, the highlight and note taking feature a lot of people are able to find, but what a lot of people don't know is that we can all click on this top button right here. It looks like three bars that are stacked at the top. Now if that has gone away for you, uh, like it has for me because it's timed out a little bit, just touch the middle of the screen and it should reappear. But I want to go and I want to hit this box right here and that will bring me base, basically to an options page for the awakening. Now from here it has the table of contents with all the chapters, uh, but one nice thing that it has is that it has a section for the notes. So if I click on notes, what you're going to notice is all the notes that I've taken and all the highlights that I've made are all in one place. I don't need to go searching for annotations or searching for notes. They've all been built into one place. And if I decide to click on one of those, it will actually take me directly to that page. So it's much easier to find than it necessarily was before. Now let's go back to my notes page, which again will be clicking on this button up here. And as I click on that button and I look at my notes, there are several things you can do with this. You can share them with, uh, with other people, or again, you can just use them to view and make reference to. Now in order to share the notes, it can be kind of tricky, so make sure you're following along here. The share button at the top right of the screen you want to click on that and you have the option to share book or edit notes. Share book is going to only have you share the entire book with someone. So you don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to click on edit notes. So when you get those two options, make sure you click on edit notes. This is going to pull up and leave you the option to either select specific notes that you want or if we look at the top left here, I can click on select all. Now I've selected all the notes right now. Now if you only want to share specific notes, you can do that as well. Now from here, all the notes are selected, we need to decide where we want to share them and how we want to share them. What we want to do is click on the share button right here. And provided your email is already set up, you can share these notes directly with a colleague or another student through email. So then I want to go ahead and click on the email button. And what will happen is, it will go directly to your email and now I can share these notes and annotations with anyone that I want to via email. And they'll get an email that looks just like this with all the colors highlighted the way they're supposed to be. And also timestamp too so you can see the dates that each of these annotations were, were created. So from there you just type in the email and type in whatever subject it is and send it off. Okay, I hope this is a help. Uh, thank you very much.